Hello and welcome back guys to yet another quant question. So let us jump directly into it. If x and y are integers and if x minus y the whole square plus 2 times y square is 27, which of the following could be the value of x? Now this question prime of ac seem very difficult because we have two variable and one equation and we just need to find the value of x. So how do we go about it? So in this type of question what becomes of utmost importance is how much inferences can you draw actively. So let us see. Now right after this step we will take out some inferences. This is an even number because it is multiplied by 2. All right. Then this is a odd number. So the sum of even plus a odd number can only be odd. So this has to be odd. This was our first set of inferences. Let us move on to our second set of inferences. This is a perfect square. This should be a perfect square and plus this should be 2 times a perfect square. All right. So let us bring our third set of inferences that this number should be less than 27. This number should also be less than 27, less than equal to less than equal to given the other is 0. So, because this plus this has to be equal to 27, right? So, these are the inferences that we have drawn. Now, let us try and reach some conclusion via these inferences. So, a perfect square less than 27 mm -hmm. and uh, this should be an odd number. So, a odd perfect square less than 27. What options we have? We have 1 whose square is 1. We have 3 whose square is 9. We have 5 square is 25. Nothing more than this is possible. All right. So, what we have reached? x minus y, the whole square can be either 1 whole square or 3 whole square or 5 whole square plus 2y square. So, let us see what happens. Should be equal to what? 27, 27, 27, 27. So, let us fill in these values. So, if this is 25, here it should be 1. If it is 9, then here again it should be 9, uh, 9 as in uh, so, it is 1 square basically, it is 3 square basically and then again here it should be 13. This is not a perfect square and we need a 2 times perfect square. So, we can safely eliminate this case also. So, basically now where we are left, we are left with 2 cases and here comes the most important ability, your ability to not just memorize questions and processes but to understand their significance as well. So, what we are saying here that x minus y the whole square is equal to 3 square and y square is equal to 3 square. These are the two equations we have. right? Now, if you go and try to solve this question, it will take a lot much time because you have to solve for all the cases. y would be plus minus 3 and everything. Also, here from this one, like this case, what do we have here? We have x minus y, the whole square is equal to 5 square and we have y square is equal to 1 square. What to do now? So, this is what I would suggest you to understand and apply. Let us quickly see where we have reached till now. We took out 3 inferences first, then we made 3 cases. Of that, we eliminated 1 case. Now, we are left with 2 cases and here are the possible solutions. Now, how to move forward from here? See, y square is equal to 3 square. What does this mean? This means that either y is plus 3 or y is minus 3. So, let us draw a number line where we will put 0 here, minus 3 here and plus 3 here. Now, understand the significance of this equation. x minus y the whole square is equal to 3 square. What does this mean? It basically means that the difference between x and y on the number line is of 3 units. It can be on the either side. Say for example, if x is here, y can be 
x plus 3 y can also be this side as x minus 3 anything can happen but the only truth is that their absolute distance on number line is 3 unit this equation simply means that if you want a more mathematical way to think about it it is basically mod of x minus y the whole square is equal to mod 3 whole square so if you remove this two from both the sides now what it means is what does mod mean distance between two point on number line is 3 so that is what you need to understand and that is what you need to apply instead of just simply blindly solving this equation using whatever methods so we have possible values of y either y can be here or y can be here and we know that distance from x is 3 units so what are the possible values x uh, can be here at minus 6 3 unit distance here or 3 unit distance here at 0 again from this point 3 unit distance here at 0 or a 3 unit distance this side at plus 6 so what are the possible options uh, values of x 6 0 or minus 6 do we have an option 6 0 or minus 6 no we do not have all right so basically there is no answer from this case now we have to apply this case again we'll draw a number line 0 we'll put values of y plus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 now what does this mean the distance between x and y is 5 units so plus 1 if we go plus 5 unit this side we reach 6 if we go 5 unit this side we'll reach uh, minus 4 now from minus 1 if from this point we go 5 units this side we would reach at plus 4 and if we go from here 5 units this side we will reach minus 6 so possible values are minus 6 minus 4 plus 4 and 6 let us see our options do we have anything on those lines we have plus 4 here so plus 4 would be our answer so yeah that is how you solve such questions uh, don't do so much of equations because there are a lot many plus minuses you will get confused simply take out inferences make your cases eliminate cases understand the meaning of equation in terms of its physical significance here it is the distance between two point in terms of modulus draw your number line see where the possible values are match with options move to another case and get your answer so yeah that was our solution guys hope it helped